Hey, AMUMC, it is Friday, September 18th, and it is time for us to get started in prayer, and it is time for us to finish a long week and enter into the weekend. I hope either Saturday or Sunday you will find some time for Sabbath. Let's get started in our prayer. Our opening verse for Friday is Isaiah 57, 15. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with him who is of contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Amen. And now, let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and recognize our need for God's grace and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading today is from Psalm 69, verses 1 through 23. This psalm is a cry of distress in a sea of trouble. We may have to suffer severely for our devotion to God, but that should cause us to look forward with joy to the day when evil and injustice will be gone forever. Hear these words of David. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up my neck. I sink in the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail looking for my God. Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs of my head. Many of my enemies without cause those who seek to destroy me, I am forced to restore what I did not steal. You, God, know my folly. My guilt is not hidden from you. Lord, the Almighty God, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. God of Israel, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me. For I endure scorn for your sake, and shame covers my face. I am a foreigner to my own family, a stranger to my own mother's children. For zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who insult you fall on me. When I weep and fast, I must scorn, I must endure scorn. When I put on sackcloth, people make sport of me. Those who sit at the gates mock me, and I am the song of a drunkard. But I pray to you, Lord, in the time of your favor, in your great love, O God, answer me with your salvation. Rescue me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Deliver me from those who hate me from the deep waters. Do not let the floodgates engulf me, nor the depths swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, Lord, out of the goodness of your love. In your great mercy, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in trouble. Come near and rescue me. Deliver me because of my foes. You know how I am scorned, disgraced, and shamed. All my enemies are before you. Scorn has broken my heart and has left me helpless. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I found none. They all put in my food and gave me vinegar for my thirst. 
May the table set before them become a snare. May it become retribution and a trap. May their eyes be darkened so they cannot see and their backs be bent forever. Amen. Our gospel reading uh, continues on John, John chapter 12. We'll be reading verses 37 through 43. Hear these words. Even after Jesus had performed so many signs in their presence, they still would not believe him. This was to fulfill the world word of Isaiah the prophet. Lord, who has believed our message? And to whom has the, the arm of the Lord most revealed? For this reason, they could not believe, because, as Isaiah says elsewhere, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, so that they can neither see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts, nor, nor turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke about him. Yet, at the same time, many among the leaders believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue. For they loved human praise more than the praise from God. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us respond to today's readings by affirming our faith and reciting the Apostles' Creed. This is the traditional version of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as I pray this prayer of intercession, imagine yourself at the feet of Jesus or sitting beside him or walking, holding his hand. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now, let us take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, let us take on this new day with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Amen.